Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the impacts of desertification. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Let's start off by recapping what desertification is. Desertification is the process of semi-arid grassland becoming degraded and drier and turning into desert. Most of the areas at risk from desertification are on the borders of existing deserts like the Sahara Desert in northern Africa. Desertification is a risk across most continents, but the biggest risk area is the Sahel, which is a strip of land just south of the Sahara Desert running from coast to coast. It is estimated that one billion people live in areas at risk of desertification around the globe. Desertification in semi-arid areas such as, as the Sahel has many impacts on both local and a global scale. The first impact that we are going to discuss is soil erosion. Soil erosion is caused by deforestation as well as poor farming practices. Deforestation removes a leaf canopy which would have shaded the soil below and stopped it drying out. This means that there is no leaf litter to return nutrients to the soil, making it dry out. Additionally, there'll be no roots to bind the soil together. This means that the top layer can be blown or washed away easily, leaving the soil vulnerable and exposed. Poor farming practices also lead to soil erosion. Overgrazing means that animals trample the land and strip the vegetation. There is nothing left to bind the soil together. Overcultivation means the land is exhausted of water and nutrients, so it completely dries out, meaning it can be blown or washed away much more easily. Now, deforestation and poor farming practices together are a huge cause of desertification, which therefore causes soil erosion. Our second impact of desertification is food supply and poverty. Desertification has a huge impact on the food supply of local communities. Soil degradation and a lack of water means the soil will lose fertility and without nutrients it will struggle to sustain plant growth. This often leads to crop failure where whole harvests are lost. If crops fail this has an impact on food supply leading to malnutrition making people weaker and more vulnerable to illnesses and diseases. In extreme cases, this can lead to widespread famine, putting communities at risk of starvation. Food insecurity also means that farmers will lose their only income. This will have many long-term impacts, such as not being able to afford essential medication, which will lead to an increase in deaths, as well as not being able to afford to send children to school, meaning that children are unable to gain qualifications, which may help them get out of poverty in the future. On a global scale, desertification can lead to increased food prices in other countries as crops become scarce. Our third impact is migration. The poor soil quality will cause people to migrate as the land they live on can no longer support them and their families. As people migrate, this causes a problem to spread elsewhere as they potentially over farm other areas. It will also cause some people to move to urban areas where they are most likely to live in informal settlements on the fringes of major cities, which will cause problems with overpopulation and a lack of adequate services such as sanitation. Our final impact of desertification that we're going to look at in this video is water quality. Desertification means that less vegetation can grow and plants play an important role in keeping water clean and clear. It also means that water sources will start to dry up and if there is less water in a river or pond then the water is more likely to become stagnant. Stagnant water encourages insects such as mosquito which then can increase the level of malaria in an area. On the other hand desertification can also lead to in isolated incidents of flooding during heavy downpours in the wet season. This is because the loss of vegetation leads to reduced interception and infiltration, which then increases surface runoff. It also means that the soil bakes rock hard in the, in the hot sun, which in turn can be really difficult to absorb water when it does rain. 
That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the impacts of desertification. Thank you for watching.